Srinivasa Ramanujan, one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, claimed his equations came not from study, but from the divine. He wasn't alone. Throughout history, rare minds have said their ideas came from somewhere beyond reason. Nikola Tesla saw flashes of light that revealed entire machines before his eyes. Socrates spoke of a divine voice, a daimonian, that whispered truth into his mind. But Ramanujan was different. His divine guidance didn't bring philosophy or invention. It brought mathematics, exact, elegant, unshakably real. Born in a small town in India, he filled notebooks with formulas no one on earth had ever seen. Infinite series, patterns of primes, and formulas to calculate pi. Results so complex that even mathematicians at Cambridge struggled to prove them. Yet he claimed his ideas were not his own, but gifts from the goddess Namagiri, who revealed them to him in dreams. He famously said, an equation means nothing to me unless it expresses a thought of God. He didn't explain his genius as talent or intellect. He called it grace. The goddess Namagiri showed him visions, and he transcribed them as faithfully as a scribe. In Hindu philosophy, this is called Nimita Bhava, the sacred state of being an instrument of the divine rather than the doer. And it wasn't just faith, it was conviction. For him, mathematics was not a craft of the mind, but a language of the divine. Each formula, he believed, was a fragment of cosmic truth, a window into the hidden structure of the universe. And it's here that his story borders on myth. Because this wasn't imagination, his formulas worked. When his notebooks reached England, the renowned G. H. Hardy first dismissed them as nonsense. But then he looked closer and saw perfection. Every positive integer, Hardy said, is one of Ramanujan's personal friends. It was as if he heard something the rest of us could not, like Ares in Wonder Woman, who said he never forced men to war, only whispered ideas into their minds. Ramanujan, too, seemed to receive whispers, not of destruction, but of creation. Equations too perfect to be guessed, too vast to be taught. He died young at 32, leaving behind hundreds of theorems that mathematicians are still proving today. Some call it intuition, others divine inspiration, but perhaps in moments of true genius, the human mind becomes something more, a bridge between the mortal and the infinite. And maybe that's the real mystery, that numbers like prayers were Ramanujan's way of listening to the universe speak.